In these videos, we're going to go over how to find high converting ClickBank products. So they're the ones that are going to make money for you and the essentials that you need to do to get good sales. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is what you should promote and what you should not promote. Okay, so we'll go to clickbank.com and we're just going to go to the marketplace here. Now, let me preface this by saying you can promote anything and you can make a success of it but the idea here is to have your best chance and that's why i say i'll tell you what you should promote and what you should not promote especially if you're a beginner now first of all do not promote make money online products if you're a beginner for one thing it's a really hard market to penetrate for another most of the people you're marketing to already know when they see a clickbank sales page that you're acting as an affiliate and most of them are going to steal your commission okay so you're not going to want to market to people that are marketing the same type of products this goes for any niche actually but the make money niche is the one where you would have the most people doing that to you okay so going on from there the best niches to choose especially when you're starting out are niches where people are desperate and these are th such things as weight loss, quit smoking, acne, and stuff like that, but mostly medical type things. You can also do things on self-improvement. These are the ones that are going to convert best for you. So you see down here, there's a self-help section. So that makes this type of product fairly easy to find. Okay, so you can do, just go from here and you can find the high level products. So health and fitness this is going to be one that will convert well for you when you get targeted traffic to them and if you pick the right products picking the right products is just as important as picking the right niche okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk about product selection now for product selection there are a number of things that you got to watch out for there are vendors out there that do some deceptive things. Now, not all of them, but there are some out there that have leaks on their sales page. They may try and steal an affiliate's commission by having an autoresponder sequence where they use their own affiliate link. And there's several other things you need to watch for. So we're going to go over that in a minute. But the first thing we're going to do is determine a product, a range of products to sell. Okay, so let's say that we want to go with the weight loss niche. Okay, so what we can do up here in the search is go current category, and then we can say weight loss. Okay, now what we can do is go over to the side that says filters, and we can put in here the gravity. Okay, so what we want to do is pick a gravity of products that are selling decently but not something that everybody is promoting so what I like to do is go from 60 to 100 okay so this has filtered us down some more okay now the next thing you need to decide is how much you want for a commission in dollars okay so if you decide that you don't want to promote anything it's going to pay you less than $20, then this is what you would put here. So average dollar per sale, 20 plus. Okay, so this will filter down those for you as well. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. We're narrowing down the products that are suitable for us to promote. Now, you can narrow these down further. If we go down to attributes, if you want only shippable media, you would click this. You want to make sure that there's going to be something with Pitch Plus. Click on that, and that's going to give you all the stuff with an upsell. Now, this is a good idea. Down here, required languages. Okay, required billing types. One time, recurring, and $1 trial. So you can narrow these down here. So let's say we want one time and recurring. Then that's what we would do there, and it would narrow them down for us again
And then down here, must have affiliate tools page, must have vendor spotlight page, support for mobile traffic, and vendor uses exclusive whitelist. Okay, so that's what all of these mean, and this is how you filter them there. Yeah, I'm going to include the $1 trial. Okay, so now it's down, it's narrowed it down to three products for us in that range. Okay, so now the next thing we need to do is have a look at the sales page. Okay, now what we're looking for is to make sure that there are no leaks off the page. You don't want your traffic going off the page for any reason at all. You want them to stay on the sales page. You don't want, see here's a leak right here, a like. Okay, you don't want this on, you don't want to be promoting this because it takes people off of the sales page. So just make sure there are no leaks. Now other types of leaks would be links to somewhere else and also links to a contact us page off of the sales page. You don't want any of those things on your sales page. Okay, so let's back off this product. Now, let's go on to this one here. Okay, so again, we're looking for leaks. Okay, now you see these are clickable. Click on it to see where it goes. It may just go to a payment page, which it did. Okay, so that's not a leak. I expect these all go to the payment page, which is good. Okay, so this is a video sales page, so there are no links within the page. So what's going to happen is you play through this video, and they listen to the information, and then they decide if they want to buy. Okay, and there are no leaks on this page. Another leak would be if they had an opt-in form on here. Now, this may or may not be a leak. In, you have to decide if it is for yourself. Sometimes the pre-sale sequence is good and you may want to use the vendor's pre-sale sequence. Now if you're going to do that you're going to need to subscribe to it and you're going to make sure that they're not stealing your commission. So set your cookie by going to the sales page with your own affiliate link and then when you get the email click on that link and make sure your affiliate link is still there and it hasn't been replaced by something else. But preferably you do not want an opt-in on the vendor's page because that's something you're going to do on your own page and we're going to talk about that in the next video. Okay, so those are the things you're looking for in the product. Now, of course, you're also going to want to look at the actual sales copy or sales video to see if you think it will convert. So what I mean by that is make sure that the sales letter is convincing and it's not overhyped. Be careful of overhype and obvious breaking of the FTC rules. Okay, and then one thing you should do is either buy the product yourself to make sure that it's a quality product or contact the vendor, and I would do this first. Tell them your marketing plan and that you're going to market this product and you would like a review copy of their product so that you can do a proper review. Okay, so now we've gone through the process of picking the product. In the next video, I'm going to go over some essentials you need to do to market the product.